This is news from Family Council. A group of 20 attorneys general has filed an amicus brief with the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals as part of an effort to block three pro-life laws in Arkansas. Last June, abortionists sued the state of Arkansas over three new pro-life laws passed in 2019. Act 493, prohibiting abortion after the 18th week of pregnancy, except in cases of rape, incest, or to save the life of the mother. Act 619, prohibiting abortion of an unborn baby solely because the child has Down syndrome. And Act 700, requiring abortion doctors to be board certified or board eligible OBGYNs. A lower court in Little Rock initially blocked the laws. However, Attorney General Leslie Rutledge has asked the Federal Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals to let Arkansas enforce these laws. On January 7th, a coalition of state attorneys general filed an amicus brief with the Eighth Circuit, arguing that Act 493 and Act 619 are unconstitutional and should be struck down. It's worth noting that with the exception of Minnesota, none of these states are actually from the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals. In two 2018, many of these same states tried to force the federal courts to block other pro-life laws in Arkansas. The amicus brief filed last week claims the state of Arkansas does not have the authority to prohibit abortion after the 18th week of pregnancy and that lawmakers cannot protect the unborn child from being aborted simply because he or she might have Down syndrome. Interestingly, the amicus brief does not say a word about Act 700 requiring abortionists to be board certified or board eligible OBGYNs. Apparently, even these these attorneys couldn't come up with a reason why anyone besides an OBGYN should be able to perform abortions. Family Council, promoting, protecting, and strengthening traditional family values in Arkansas. Visit us online at familycouncil.org.